for us. They are our co-workers and friends. People who served in the military before they started their broadcasting careers. Local 5's Terry Kavarik shares their stories. Well, Tom and Aaron. You may recognize Steve Dent from his reports on Local 5 News, and some may have met his boss, News Director Kevin Osgood, or work with Mark Smolik in the sales department to advertise your business. But you may not realize that all three served in the military prior to joining Local 5. Each were inspired for different reasons. Well, I wanted to join the Marine Corps when Desert Storm, Desert Shield first started happening. Unfortunately, I was 17 years old and I needed my parents' consent. When we stood there, we watched the space shuttle launch. We went home. On the drive home, we were talking about just how cool that was. And somehow or another, enlisting in the Navy came out of that, I guess, patriotic experience. If Pat Tillman can give up an NFL contract as a safety in the NFL and go serve his country in the Army, I thought I should be able to do that. In fact, Osgood and Dent left TV news to serve. Dent served with U.S. Army's 1st Armored Division and was one of the last U.S. units in Iraq, providing security to remaining personnel. So we'd also do what was called a CASP mission, where we would go out and we would go on an observation route and we would stake out the area, which would allow a plane to fly in and land. And the plane would be there for like five or six hours. And such missions took place despite massive sandstorms. And as that sandstorm came in, Truck four, we couldn't see it. Then truck three, we couldn't see it. And all of a sudden, you couldn't see five feet in front of your face. Kevin Osgood grew up near the ocean, so the Navy was a natural fit. While he hoped to use his journalistic skills aboard a ship, there were no openings. So he eventually became a pilot rescue swimmer with the USS Midway Battle Group. One early morning rescue call involved an E-2C Hawkeye aircraft that went off while landing on Midway's deck. Three crew members escaped two remained with the floundering aircraft. We were not allowed to get in and try and rescue them because of the sea conditions and how much water was in that plane. It was about to go to the bottom and they may have, the pilot and co-pilot may have already been dead. We all wanted to go in and we wanted to, to rescue them, but there was a significant amount of danger to trying to do that. And so the decision was made to not do it. That memory is hard for Osgood to put behind. When I think about it. Every Veterans Day, every Memorial Day, every time I see uh, an aircraft carrier or hear something about the Navy. Mark Smolik eventually enlisted with the U.S. Marine Corps when he turned 19. He served with the 1st Battalion, 5th Marines Division, eventually serving in the Diplomatic Corps, providing security to U.S. embassies. Making sure that the grounds are secure, that classified information is secure, that American personnel are safe. So Marines are manning the embassy 24-7, making sure that, that it's a safe place. A mission that was challenging during local unrest in Sierra Leone in Africa. There was a, a coup d'etat in the country that caused, caused a, little bit of, uh, a little bit of unrest in the area, a, lot of, a little bit of combat going on around the town. So we had to take some actions to protect American personnel, both at our, at our home complex and in the embassy. That lasted about a day and a half. And it ended with no injuries or threats to the embassy. Looking back, Smolik, Osgood, and Dent say their time in service and lessons in teamwork continue on in what they do every day. You actually do become like brothers because so there are some tough times in the Army. But no matter what you go through, every single day you have the guy to your left and to your right just sitting and being there right there with you. Mission is critical, and accomplishing the mission is, is key. And using teamwork to accomplish that mission is huge. And so I've always considered myself a team player. We can be telling good quality stories every day that people want to hear. Um, but when that tornado warning goes off, um, we all know what we need to do here in, in this operation. And we jump up and we go do what we need to do to let people know what's going on. And it's those worldwide experiences that help these veterans at Local 5. Keeping it local in Green Bay, Terry Kovarik, Local 5 News. Thanks, Terry. We're still accepting your nominations for Hometown Hero right today.